Phyllis UAV Rotor Brake by yours truly, a Viking. When seconds count for normal shutdown or an emergency, stopping the rotor is priority. It will take 60 seconds at flat pitch, 30 seconds at full negative pitch. Four or five seconds or faster with a rotor brake. The rotor brake assembly. A brake pad is secured to the non rotating brake disc. An aluminum anti rotation bracket and return spring provide support to the disc. A square shank on the disc prevents rotation during brake application. The rotating disc is attached to the secondary shaft of the Velos UAV transmission. The anti-rotation disc assembly mounts to the fuselage side plate directly below the secondary shaft and rotating brake disc of the Velos rotors UAV transmission. The servo is used for brake actuation and to control pressure on the rotor brake pad. A custom servo control horn with roller provides straight, smooth pressure against the brake disc shank. During rotor brake actuation, the servo horn pushes vertically into the non-rotating disc shank, forcing the brake pad into the rotating disc, creating drag on the drivetrain, stopping the rotor. Here's a demonstration of the uh, rotor brake in action, uh, just rotating the main rotor through by hand and applying the brake so you can see how it works uh, physically. Auto hold on, rotor brake on. No blade pitch was used during this demonstration. Blades remained at zero pitch during the stop.